Hey, everybody, Darren Shorey from North Parkway Assembly of God. I wanted to take just a moment today to invite you to worship with us on Sunday at 10 a.m. Uh, last Sunday, we resumed our indoor public worship services, and we are just looking for another great experience together this coming Sunday. Also want you to know that we are taking various precautions. We know that there are different groups of people with different needs, and so to benefit the whole uh, congregation and family of God, we are taking precautions that we believe will uh, create a safe environment for everybody to worship in. Uh, we do the contactless uh, temperature scans. We encourage masks to be worn in and out. Also, we have two sections of seating in our sanctuary. One seating is specifically for those who want to wear your mask through the entire service and would prefer that those around you are doing the same. But we also have sections where uh, it is optional. And so some may have a mask on, some may not, and that's going to be okay too. So we're just looking forward to a great day, wanting you to know that we're preparing for you and God is gonna do some incredible things. Just a couple of quick announcements. Uh, the first one is want you to know that uh, Sunday is going to be t-shirt sale day. So we will have a couple, at least a couple different t-shirts for sale. Uh, we, before COVID-19 started, we had ordered a, an order of, of, of NPAG t-shirts. I'm wearing one now. This is the purple one. And so we do have those available for sale. And also we're going to be making our Celebrate Recovery uh, we have a program at our church called Celebrate Recovery on Thursday evenings, and we have some t-shirts uh, for those who participate in that program, but also we're going to make those available for those who would like to have one. Uh, the uh, Celebrate Recovery t-shirt has a really cool logo uh, across the entire back, uh, really good for uh, those who are motorcycle enthusiasts. So I encourage you to take a look at the t-shirt table on Sunday. Also wanting to let you know, uh, keep your ear to the rail for a couple of special announcements. Uh, first off, we've been talking to you about getting our encouragement groups, our small groups going again. We do one in the spring, and or a session in the spring and a session in the fall. And so we have been just waiting to uh, launch and we are really close to doing that. We'll have some more information for you about that, but also want you just to keep an ear up, an ear out for something called life groups. It's something that we're going to be doing right after church, uh, beginning in a few weeks that we believe is going to help the community of our church and togetherness and it will follow our Sunday morning service. So keep an ear out for that announcement. Also, hey, could I tell you what I'm talking about? This coming Sunday, I'm gonna be sharing with you on a very significant and unique event mentioned in scripture many times called the rapture. The rapture is an event that Jesus took a lot of time to talk to his disciples about. Did you know that the Bible and Jesus not only talked about uh, the event, the rapture, uh, what it is, but also talked about when to expect the rapture of the church to happen. Now the Bible declares to us that no man, no angel, uh, nor Jesus himself makes the statement and says, only the Father in heaven knows the day and the hour that the Son of Man, that Jesus will come back. But the Bible very clearly helps us to understand that there are some things, there are signs that point to a season, that point to a time preceding the rapture of the church. And I wanna to talk to you a little bit about that and hope that it'll be something that will minister to you because the Bible talks a lot about the rapture. And so I'm looking forward to sharing that with you uh, this Sunday and uh, continuing to unpack something God has put on my heart um, several months ago, but for the last few weeks, and that is to uncover uncover truth and to expose lies. And so this has been a wonderful time of teaching and preaching and hope that you will prepare your heart to do that with us this Sunday. We love you. We miss you. Those of you who have not been out yet to a public service, we started a month ago with our outdoor services and just this past Sunday got inside for the first time. But if you've not been with us yet in person, we miss you. Uh, and it's okay if you feel to keep watching us via uh, Facebook, uh, Facebook or through our website. We, we do live stream on both on Sunday. Uh, and so if that's what you would like to continue to do, we understand and we're praying for you. But we just, we want you to know we miss you. 
and uh, we look forward to when you can get back into Father's house. And so for those who are able to make it out and looking forward to it, uh, we are going to be having a great day in God's presence. Again, serving communion together uh, this Sunday. We have this special little, I call them adult proof because I can barely get in mine at times, a little cup and wafer sealed, uh, tightly sealed packet that we've uh, purchased specifically uh, for this time of uh, coming back together. And we have communion service and a wonderful time of worship. Hey, you just don't want to miss it. Whether you are there or you watch us online, you don't want to miss it. God bless you. We're excited for what God is doing in you. We're even more excited about what God wants to do through you. So join us uh, this Sunday in worship, however you may do that in uh, live or via live stream. And uh, just know that your church family uh, loves you. God bless.